have several mock chicken recipes, some just plain seitan without mushroom, some party size, some really good for wet cooking applications, and some really good for dry cooking application as well as gluten free. Take your pick and let's jump right into the recipe. Welcome back to day number five of my vegan mock chicken countdown. And this is my ultimate vegan breakfast with my gluten-free vegan chicken sausages. These were so delicious. You have to try them. Let's jump right in. So here I have my mock chicken. And you can check the description box below on how to make this. I usually just make a bunch and pop them in the freezer. And so I just chop that up and mix it, as you can see here. Here's some fresh sage. And you can find this at any of your local grocery stores. And I'm just going to quickly chop this up. Some fresh parsley. I have a bit of a seasoning mix, which is just some garlic powder, a bit of onion powder, some black pepper, and salt. Really easy, simple ingredients. Here I have some diced red peppers, and these are very small dice, almost a mint. and just a bit of brown sugar. So make sure you check the description box below for the exact amount. I'll have that on the blog site. And so for that fatty texture that you're used to in eating sausages, that rice paper really, really fills that in. It's a really great texture in the mouth and it's kind of marbled throughout the sausage. So you will really, really enjoy this. It was really good. So I have here some rice paper. I'm just cutting it into small squares for the sausages. And as you can see here, I just shape the mixture. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just wrap it up and it is ready. And so I make sure to rehydrate the rice paper sheet before I roll so that it's easier and it comes together uh, very snug. into a saute pan. Um, you don't have to fry these or saute them first. You can pop them straight in the oven. Here I have some already cooked potatoes with a bit of salt and thyme. And I'm just gonna shape these into some little ball-like shapes. And this is for my really quick and easy hash browns if you have any leftover potatoes that work. I have two tomatoes, just a bit of salt, pepper, and some herbs. These are going into the oven. In the meantime, I'm going to scramble some of these Follow Your Heart vegan eggs, which is a pretty decent substitute. I added a bit of mushroom and a bit of cheese, vegan cheese. And here you have to have fruit with breakfast or it's just not complete. I have here some fresh kiwi and some star fruit. And I want to use it up before it goes. And I just trimmed it off and it's ready to go. Onto the plate goes the vegan scrambled eggs. And I'll stay tuned for the review. I'll be posting that uh, sometime next week. Here are my mock vegan sausages. Or, my, yeah, my mock vegan chicken sausages. A couple hash browns. Or actually, three hash browns. And here's my tomatoes, a bit of fresh spinach. And this is a really great idea if you're serving breakfast in bed for anyone, or even if it's just for yourself. So I have here my gluten-free vegan waffles. If you want to see that recipe, just stay tuned to the end. I have it after this video. And I have some grits because I mean, it's breakfast. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time 
or tomorrow with day number four. Before you leave, make sure you go over and check out my Instagram account and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I would love to see your food pictures, so make sure you tag me in any of your vegan food pictures. And check out videos. I have a couple linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it. And I will see you next time.